that's that's gonna it's gonna be something good, y'all. This is pretty wild, isn't it? This is a thing. Man, is that a spot? Is it on a stringer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all catch this spot? Yeah, on a stringer. It's a good one <laughs> for the river. It's about, I'd say three pound spot. <laughs> Maybe. It's thick across the back, you see it? It looks in poor shape. God, he's got some, nah. <laughs> nah, he's, uh, he's closer to four, I believe. Please ignore my face. Uh, yeah, I know I look. But we are here at this uh, low spot in the river. It's a spot that I've been wanting to hit for years. Jason has us good access from the bank, so we just kind of walked the kayak down. And we got a low spot that kind of, this looks like it might, might at one point been an Indian weir. But down there where those geese are at, there's another low spot and a nice looking gravel bar on the other side. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're gonna find some stuff. I'm pretty optimistic. We'll turn this thing on if we get to finding some stuff. All right, guys, this isn't a bottle hunting video, but I did just spot a bottle. Not sure how old it is. Let me know if you know. Right now, I'm trying to locate some horseshoes. So, we'll see. There's another shallow spot down here that actually looks a little better than the one we're at, so. But I'll turn this on if we find anything. Guys, what in the world is this floating here? Jason, do you keep your stuff in pill bottles? This just floated down here. Is it yours? Huh? Okay, I'll hold on to it for you. All right, guys. I'm in some deep water. We're not trying to detect deep water, but I am listening for iron. I just got that. Probably a piece. Yeah, that's a piece to the dock. I can't carry that out, though. I know some of y'all get mad at me, but... I can't. I mean, I won't be able to walk if I carry every piece of iron that I come across in the kayak. Is I'm already close to 80 yards from the kayak, so let's keep going. All right, guys. Like I said, if you've watched any of my other river hunting videos when I'm trying to find a river crossing, I try to find horseshoes first, and then I start digging the non-ferrous targets. So I got a signal here. It's reading a little low for a horseshoe. It could just be a nail or a piece to a piece of one of these docks but uh I predict it's gonna be under some of these rocks so I'm gonna move some stuff that's a big one so all right it's gonna be a chirp too which we shoes do give sometimes they sound non fair so let's see Alright, whatever it is, we're right on top of it. Okay. That's iron. So, at least we're finding some iron now. Alright, we got another bottle. I don't think it's old though, because I think it's giving me a signal. It's just a slick. Let's see what is down here. It's reading high. I don't think it's iron. Yeah, it is iron too. Let's get it out of there. My magnet is not sticking to it. Come on, be something. Come on, baby. I feel it. I just can't move it. It's gonna need some encouragement. What are you? I cannot see. All right, I'm gonna have to work on it. I'll cut it back on. I got it out, guys. I don't know where the iron is in here, though, so let's find out. I think it's just that nut right there. You'll have to forgive me, y'all. I'm rusty. It's been a year since I water hunted. And this is my first year using this hat cam, but that's all that's gonna be is 
square or a that shaped bolt. So let's keep going. 69, 71. I like those numbers for a bullet, y'all. <clears throat> I'm on the other side of the river. There's just a lot of trash in the in this section right here. Man, whatever it is is right here. Come on, be a bullet. That is a sinker. There's gonna be a lot of those today, probably. All right, let's keep going. All right, Jason found a turtle that is uh, got a hook. He said he was wrapped up and he couldn't come up for air. Uh, yeah. yeah, I thought he was dead, just floating there. <laughs> That's gonna be a tricky. Yeah, I know. Come back out. That's the first time he's went in when you got him. <laughs> really? Yeah. I don't want to pull on it. Come out, dude. Come on, buddy. Poor guy. Mm. I know that crap hurts. That is sticking out of his jaw. Is that it sticking out of his jaw right there? Probably so. You might just have to grab it and just try to crank it hard without pliers. Yeah, and he's gonna keep going in every time I mess with it. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. Well, I got him free at least. Yeah. I wish I had something to at least cut that hook with. We're gonna try to get this string off of here at least. That way he's not getting t tangled up and stuff, so. If we had a pair of pliers, we could get that hook out easily, but we don't have any. I usually carry a pair in my back pocket, but I took them out. Yeah. All right, well, let's see what we can do with this little guy. All right, we took the uh, the blade part of this, chopped it. So now, at least there's not a foot of that stuff hanging off for him to get tangled up on. Hopefully that hook will rust out. But uh, yeah, we just can't get that out. He tries to go in his shell every time we try to pull on it. And with our fingers, there's just no way. So, all right, little dude. Good luck. Wish we could do more for you. All right, well, maybe we'll get on some horseshoes in a minute. That's all I've been listening for is horseshoes. I've been digging the bullet signals and looking for horseshoes. I've come across a hundred breastplate signals, but I haven't dug them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're everywhere. Yeah. Well, guys, I got a mystery item. I know that this isn't super old, but I'm curious if y'all know what it is. So it got something attached to it. I don't know if it's old leather. It looks like there's rivets that would have gone through at one time. Yeah, it's riveted. I don't know what that is. Let me know if you know. All right, guys. Got a big chunk of iron. I can see it. I don't know what it is, but... Figured we'd find out together. I'm not sure. So if you're sure, let me know. And we'll both be sure together. Onward. Go. All right, guys. I just heard Jason holler back up near the kayak about 200 yards in that direction. And he's walking my way, so I'm hoping he's found something because uh, I'm getting a little uh, worried. I mean, we, we've done the research. We feel like uh, there should be some stuff here but I'm just not hearing enough iron for, um, I don't think we have found the crossing. I mean, we might come across something where maybe a, a soldier. While we're waiting on him, let's dig this signal. Cause... Yeah, give me just a sec. He's walking fast. I don't see him more. Fast. This is kind of reading like a bullet. So let's get that. He's coming quick. I hope he, I hope he ain't got to go. Um, but if he does, I mean, that's just part of it. Let's see what this is right quick. Man, I hope he found something awesome. It'd be nice if I find something decent while he's walking toward me. Man, I just can't see. 
Ah, uh, it's a bullet, but it's modern. It's a slug. All right, so he's walking. Woo! Woo! That's that's gonna it's gonna be something good, y'all. He don't he don't get fired up too too much. Not like that. But then again, he also hasn't really found anything in the water. So let's go. Uh, let's go see what all the. Is that a shell? Is that a shell? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> oh God. Dude, I was just talking to them, you know, and I was like, Jason's hollering. He don't holler much. And then I, and then you come walk, you come walking fast. I was like, he don't walk fast either. <laughs> Oh. Am I recording up here? Yeah. Dude. <laughs> oh my God. That's exactly what that is. Look at the top. I wonder what kind. <laughs> That's too short. Dude, that might be a Confederate shell. I think it's a reed. Is it? I'm not sure. I ain't no art artillery expert. I'm not either because I don't dig them a lot. <laughs> but neither. yeah, you can, see, you can see the fuse right oh there. Oh my God. Oh, bad stroke run down. <laughs> <laughs> dude hey not only it's covered with iron right there where i'm at is it when i was bringing that turtle down i thought i seen like a concrete pillar or something right on the bottom. oh and so that's why i went back to that spot and i started getting iron everywhere yeah i've been looking for like iron the third target i dug dude <laughs> man it's so tempting to beat that stuff up, i know but, I, but... I, I broke a couple pieces off i'm like man i better leave it alone before i mess it up holy that's gonna have to go in the damn tank dude i cannot wait to see it cleaned up oh man. my god that's my first complete shell well and that's what i was telling them i said i said jason's about this close to giving up on water hunting i said i really hope he finds some <laughs> ain't nothing like pulling it out of the water man. right there man. dude i'm telling you the waterways oh man, my god that is so awesome i've dug a few solid shot you know smaller ones but i've never dug i've dug peak frags that's yeah, all i've found frags. Hot that is freaking stuff. awesome dude i hope that it's showing up good on this gopro oh y'all my god we gotta go get in that iron yes i'm gonna keep go. going that way for about another 50 yards because there is another shallow spot and then we'll come up there with you <laughs> <laughs> no, we're on it dude, dude we, knew, we knew there was gonna be stuff here had to be i dug dude what, what the whole wagon turned over there's gonna be <laughs> shells i dug that that was the first iron piece i dug i don't know what it is but then i dug two cans right after that and then that was that reading like 40 like long 40 or yeah yeah yep. high 30s 40 yep that's the signal man dude right here man i'm, I'm gonna catch up with you here shortly oh my God. i'm gonna just make sure that there's not because there's another little what i call pig teats uh where, where the gravel bars come out yeah and I, I usually will focus on them and if i see if i see a pig teat i'll go i'll go and make sure because that's where i usually start finding stuff but it sounds like you already found it, especially if there's a pillar coming out of the bank so i, I hadn't made it back to that to see if that's what it is but Probably the relic the, the relic gods are shining down on you for helping that turtle <laughs> that's where i picked him up at <laughs> yeah that's awesome man i'll be up there here shortly all right, all right. dude that is awesome <sighs> hey i can officially say welcome to water hunting oh yeah it's awesome that is awesome man I'm yeah that, that that'll make that'll make the trip worth it every time that's what i've been hoping for the whole time yeah Hey, I bet you there's more right in here. I bet there is. This is full of iron right there. I can't wait to go play in it. Okay, guys, so I know that there's probably some of y'all that are wondering why I'm not going back with Jason where he just dug an artillery shell. Part, well, I know he's got to go put it in his kayak for one, and I don't want to hop in somewhere where he just found an artillery shell without him. So I was like, I'm just going to keep working this way. Um, and look. And that's what we're looking for right there. That and artillery shells, of course. Bullet! Yep! So, I'm gonna mark this spot and I'm gonna go catch up with him. So, I'm gonna, uh, we'll come back down here and hit this too. So, let's go. Found the bullet right there. Got another bullet signal right here next to it. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm, oh, it feels good to be back on this. Feels good to be back in the water. Oh man, come on, be another bullet. Don't do me like that sinker. Can y'all tell I'm excited? 
God, I love this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, my God. We're on another spot. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to set this down here to mark our spot. And I'm going to put this in there. And I'm going to lock it up. And we're going to dig some more. First bullet, second bullet. And, I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Look at this. I saw this piece right here. And I flipped it over. And just look at this. Look at this. Cherokee Indian pottery. Is that not beautiful? Oh my God, this day is starting to be amazing. Like for real. Oh, all right, onward, let's keep going. Well, I'm just gonna leave it on for a minute and just let y'all, hopefully y'all can hear this machine. I don't know how these headphones do. Normally I don't dig those signals, but when I'm on top of stuff, I do dig those signals. It's just a 51, it's probably gonna be a pull tab. But, let's find out together, guys. Sorry I'm not uh, talking to y'all face to face much today, but I, I really uh, feel ridiculous with my uh, facial hair going. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, but I haven't gotten used to it yet, so I'm sure, I'm sure I'll see y'all at the wrap up. But, let's listen a little bit more. Stuff washing out of this bank right here. Civil War stuff sitting right next to Native American stuff. I mean, is that not awesome? There's something right there, but it's a weak signal. That is a strange looking piece of wood. It's got two holes right there and it's got an engraving right there. Hmm. It's interesting. I don't know if I really want to fool, fool with this. I will just in case it's a cuff button and then I'm gonna turn y'all off until I get another slamming signal. <clears throat> 22 casing all right let's go all right guys i'm gonna uh i'm gonna take the gopro off my head just because this is just amazing i love this so much i really do look at this do you see it yet do you see it yet is that a ringtail sharps just completely exposed right here? <laughs> yes, oh my god, <laughs> I told I told uh Jason that I dug one of these. I don't know if I have. I have to go through all my bullets, but this is so awesome. There's no telling what is washing out of this bank right here. I know how we can find out though. With this little thing right here. All right, guys. I'm not far from where I dug that ring tower. Look at that. I believe that may be a burn side. I could be wrong. But, uh, oh my goodness, y'all. I am super, super. I'm super. I'm super pumped that I can't even say super pumped. Man, oh man, let's keep going. Maybe there's another one. It never gets old, y'all. I just can't believe there's no horseshoes. I'm not hearing anything except uh, sinkers, pull tabs, and Civil War bullets. There might be another one. Let's try to see if the curse of the live dig strikes again. Yes, it does. Second one of those I've dug. <clears throat> All right. I got something, y'all. I don't know what it is or what's inside it. So just a, a boat cushion or something? I don't know. Sorry about the camera angle. I don't know what that is. I'm guessing it's a boat cushion. I don't know, but I can't tote that out. There's no way. Oh, all right. All right, I'm catfishing over here with uh, Jason. He dug that shell, and now I come over here to see if I might could find one. 36 long. If this is a shell, y'all, I'm probably going to curse it live digging it, but <laughs> y'all going to see. Yeah, it's a good thing you wasn't recording me when I dug it. 
<laughs> it ain't gonna be no shell, it's too light. It's another piece of that junk Same I just crap. dug. Yep. <sighs> well. Hey, it's right where I dug it. Yeah, he said it was just right over there, so. Same if we keep swinging, we're liable to find another one, y'all, for real. All right, onward. Yes, that cable sticking out. All right, we're back to the boat. Um, we kind of got some people around, so we're going to be a little... Uh, we, we're not wanting people to know we're finding stuff, but... Jason said that this it's is a... It's a confederate bullet. It's a confederate bullet. It's, I it's believe it's called a Joslin. Joslin? If I remember right. I found a few of them in one spot. They're yeah. all right there together. I knew that it was something that I hadn't... I don't think I've dug one of those, but look how clean that baby come out, dude. Man. Is that pretty or what? <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is awesome. That's what's good about digging them out of the water. You don't have to worry about none of that. And that's fired too. Is it? Yeah, see the groove? It show sure is. The rifling marks. That must have hit something soft that didn't damage yeah, it Yeah, it must have just hit the water. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, and then these two just drops. Heck yeah, man. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. I can't wait to get back to that section yes. and actually get out in the water. Yeah, I literally, I, I really just scanned it. Just and right on the edge. Just too. right on the edge, and I wasn't. I was just like, okay, I'm gonna save this and give us something to look forward to for next time. Cause, I mean, what little I went over it, there's probably stuff everywhere in there, man. Yeah. What dreams are made of right here? <laughs> you know, see how it's got that these high spots going around it. I know I've seen this shell before, Doug. See how it's high right there? It's kind of yeah. Like, it's but like, the base don't have it, does it? Cause when I when I first dug it, I was thinking Hotchkiss, but they got the lead. I, and doesn't the Hotch does the Hotchkiss one that goes like that around the side or no? Or no, they it's come got down like three a, grooves on the base, and they go all the way up the sides. But it's got a lead sabot right there. Yeah, and I don't see a lead sabot, so I wonder if this is like a rare Confederate shell. Oh, it's got to be. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome, man, when this thing gets cleaned up. I don't care what it is. It's freaking complete artillery. I know, shell. man. I know. <laughs> that is crazy. Purse. All right, guys. Well, this is going to be, uh, I'm, we're going to have to hunt this some more and I'm going to have to film some more because I'm not going to upload these videos until we have it pretty well cleaned out. I know it's hard to clean the river out, but we're going, we're going to give it our distance. Until we give up on it. Yeah. <laughs> until we start researching somewhere else to go. <laughs> right now we own a spot. Yeah. All right, guys. By the time this is uploaded, um, we'll feel confident that we've gotten a good bit of the stuff out of here. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and, uh, Thanks for watching. You guys have a good one.